Well, now, ain't that nice? That bald dumbo rat done made another response to the situation. I reckon I'll just listen and hear what you got to- I'm sorry. Well. I'm so sorry. Well, now, hold on there, honey child. Y'all give me a moment. I feel I got some things to say. I have listened to your videos, and the thing what jumps out for me most is the way you identify with our derpy. And what's more, some of them reasons you gave for doing it. You have talked about being in a special class and joking with your friends, and that is both sweet and brave. Well, I just happen to identify with a certain pony myself. <laughs> if y'all think real hard, you might be able to work out who that might be. And I will just have to be brave myself, because I must respond. I'm Applejack, I except I'm Apple Jinx, on account of I didn't like to lay claim to the whole name and all. Uh, my real name is Chris, kind of generic if you ask me. I watched the episode Apple Buck Season and that was me there on the screen, right down to working myself into a state of cranky, never resting, even shaking my head to keep awake just like that there. Uh, by the way, take it from one who knows, I don't do that. It don't work. It just rout your brain and you're six times as tired two minutes later. But I digress. Some folks have seen my work. I'm probably best known for a country song with funny voices, but real sincere. I ain't worked out all the kicks in the recording at the time. I also done some writing. Uh, all sorts. <laughs> we ain't getting into that. Point is, I scare some folks with my industriousness and all. They can't figure out what makes apple drinks push so hard. Uh... This is the part where I got to be brave. Bear with me. Derpy, I'm a little bit like you. I grew up as a little Aspergen pony. I like to say I was Aspergen before they gave you a cookie for it. And I got sent to a special school. It weren't some Aspergen school. Nobody knew about that stuff back then. J just a special school with a lot of special little ponies. Well, I got trained up pretty good there. Chris will look directly in people's eyes. Chris will sit with others in the group without shaking. I got trained to act normal, or at least to know what was expected. I didn't exactly succeed in committing suicide a few years later, because I knew there were some folks who didn't want that to happen. I survived it all. I'm still fighting to feel like I matter. And now I got some ponies saying things like my sappy love song helped them not commit suicide. Dang. Well, all right, I'll own that. Hell, I earned that, even if it's just for one pony. Everybody's got to find a light somewhere, even if it's just some crazy singing pony on the internet which sounds like a damn chipmunk. Well, Derpy, don't cry. You are that light, too. You're a light for me with your bravery and your sincerity. If I had known you when I was just a little pony, my road would have been just that much easier, having a friend. Because I mostly didn't. I still mostly don't, apart from ponies. I'm one of them internet people, you know what I mean? We got to find what solid ground we can, and that's why it hurts when we identify with something beautiful and then see it spoiled or taken away. It broke my heart hearing you crying. But I got to tell you, sugar, that heart's had a lot of breaking over the years, and it gets you pretty tough. I ain't finished. I ain't just here to cry back at you. I say, look out at the fan reaction to all this, at all the rage. And look a little deeper with wiser eyes. It ain't just rage out there. It's betrayed and insulted love, and that's important. Folks really love Derpy just the way she is. Them as love Applejack love her the same way, with all her faults just as she is. Them as love Rainbow Dash, <laughs> guilty, I ain't no different. It happens in the original last roundup, or as I like to think of it, the only true last roundup. We got all three. We got Derpy, and loved her even in a contralto voice. We got Dashy being exasperated and edgy. We got Applejack trapped behind her expectations and misbehaving. On the whole, it was a good one. Mostly all the ponies loved it, and they loved you when you're derping. They loved it with the open and accepting hearts of true ponies, because that's what they've been taught to do. And they listened. Well, you listen to me, Derpy. Hasbro cannot take that love away. Corporations are kind of like big old cider machines. Uh, firstly, they suck. And then you get out of them only what you shovel into them. 
You all throw rocks and junk at the machine, and you can't expect the best in deliciousness to come out all the time. Well, you can look at the folks who were being condescending soccer moms, and even they were doing the best they could from where they stood. Or you can look at all the ponies who learned the real lessons of friendship, and who are currently raging all with pitchforks and such, on account of Hasbro gave them a picture of you, and then backtracked. Well, they do not have the power to silence loving hearts. Them hearts may be raising a ruckus and it may sound like hate, but the real message is acceptance. It is saying you will not take our acceptance away. You will not tell us, oh, you're not ready for this acceptance. It ain't theirs to take back. And as far as we're concerned, it ain't took back. And you are the star of that acceptance, Derpy. We love you and all who march under your banner. Because ponies, they're just like that, ain't they? Don't cry, Derby. Hasbro don't speak for us, and we will not let you go. You just keep on derping, sugar. And trust ponies, we can tell what really matters. <laughs>